and today we're looking at how to install a surveillance system. And this is what we get in the box. We get a remote control, we get a mouse, a power brick for the DVR, screws, the manual, a DVD, a sticker for the window, power brick for the camera, a power splitter, we get two rolls of BNC and power cable, we get two cameras. The camera that we're going to use today is 720p, it has 24 infrared LED lights for night vision, and we get the DVR. This DVR does not come with a hard drive, but that's something that we're going to go ahead and install on this video. And today we're using the Sans DVR 720p kit with two cameras. If you want to check them out, I'm going to leave the link on the description box. And on the back, we have the BNC port, the video ports like VGA, HDMI, RCA, the audio ports, we have the ethernet port for the internet, and we have a USB port for the mouse or even a USB stick. And these are the tools that we're gonna need today for the installation. A screwdriver, a spade bit, a drill bit, a pencil, a hammer, and a drill. Let's go ahead and take out the screws from the DVR. Now we can install the hard drive. In this case, the hard drive is a SATA version. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is check the cables and see where the lines go and connect it to the hard drive according to the same grooves. Now that we've done that, now we could go ahead and hold the hard drive, flip the DVR over and screw it from the bottom so we could get a tight hold. Now let's put the top back on the DVR and screw it back in. And the first thing you want to do before installing your system is verify where you want to put the cameras, what part of your house or apartment you want to cover. And now we could get ready for installation. If you want to install the cameras on an exterior wall, like a brick wall, a cement wall, a hard siding wall, you are going to need the anchors but if you're gonna install in drywall or wood you won't need the anchors what you want to make sure is that you have a drill bit the same size as the anchor the good way to do it is to measure them side by side now that we've done that now we could go ahead and start mounting some cameras on the wall if placing the camera on the exterior you want to make sure you have access to the wall or you want to be able to pass through the drill from the outside of the house to the inside of the house the easiest way to access the walls is usually from an attic sometimes from a basement as well and now we're gonna see how to install the camera next you want to draw out the camera circle on the wall and draw out where every screw hole goes. And then with the spade bit, we're going to make a hole on the middle so we could put the cables through that hole. And when choosing the spade drill bit, we want to make sure it would be wide enough for the BNC cable and power cable to fit through. And this would be an example on how to connect the cables from inside the attic, the basement, or even behind the wall. But let's say you're renting and you don't want to damage the walls. You could just go ahead and put them around the wall. You always want to make sure you don't have a beam or electric cable where you're going to drill. Remember, safety first. And once you have made the holes, now you can put the anchors on the hole and softly with a hammer put them through. Now we can start screwing our camera in place. The camera is going to have some screws that's going to let you maneuver the way the camera looks. Either the top screw for arm movement or the bottom screw for rotation. Now verify on the BNC extender cable which side goes to the DVR and which one goes to the camera. So it's just now grabbing the cable and connect it to the extender cable that goes to the DVR. And you do that by following the side pins on each cable. What you want to do is match them up and twist. For the power cable, you only have to connect it. Now that you have connected the BNC extender cable to the camera, now we could connect it to the DVR. And we're going to do that using the same method. Once you have chosen your desired connection for video, we could go ahead and connect that 
and connect the mouse. We can connect the ethernet cable if you want your DVR to go online. If you don't want to use the internet feature, you don't have to. And lastly, the power. So now that we have this bad boy connected, one on the outside and one in the inside, now we can take a look at the system. So first we get the welcome menu. We get the password and username. In this case, because we have not chosen a password, we could just hit OK. You can always follow your instructions manual to change the password. Now we get the information page. This is where you're going to put the time, the date, if you want the system to work a military style 24 hours, or just a regular clock 12 hours. This is how it's going to look if you have the ethernet cable connect. But in case you don't connect the internet, that's not a problem. It's just going to be on red. You can skip the final step. If you choose, you want to use the internet feature. This is the time to take out your smartphone or tablet. And with your QR code app, you're going to choose either iPhone or Android according to your system. And this is going to let you download the app that works with your system. Once you have logged into your app, created a name for your device. Now with your QR code reader app, we're going to scan the other QR code on the next page so it could recognize your specific device. And now that you have done that, you can rename your house Alcatraz. Now you just went from civilian to security guard. As you can tell, we have one pointing out the back door in night mode and to the right side, we have cloudy day, day vision. Now by clicking on the right button on your mouse, you could go to the main menu and you could configure your recording method. You could do that by detection. You could have it record in a set schedule the entire day to only activate when your alarm activates. And we can also see playback. Once you see the green bar at the bottom, that means something has been recorded. Overall, when choosing a surveillance system, if you want to get plate numbers, real face recognition, you want to go HD and up, which is 720, 1080, or anything above that. With this system, we did get great video quality and at a budget, which is a great thing. Don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on social media. Thank you for watching.